for those who might not know um, the the model as as well, I mean the 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 technology behind the model, a used car vending machine, is a, is in and of itself pretty remarkable. You also search for and vet used car in the company's used cars on the company site. You either have it delivered to your door in as little as 24 hours, or you collect the new car to you at one of those 28 fully automated coin operated contraptions, as Fortune wrote. And then the vehicle's dispensed, on demand, completely prepped, ready for your ride home. A pretty simple concept. But it wasn't your first concept. You actually failed first in your first idea. Talk to me a little bit about Luterang. Uh, so I'll, I'll give you a brief description. You know, this was uh, around the time that Groupon was starting, and so there was kind of all this buzz around, um, you know, trying to drive consumers to uh, merchants in the real world that they might not have otherwise visited and what kind of value could be generated in that. And at the same time, you know, Yelp was, uh, was taking off, and so we thought that if we could generate kind of or, or get access to a data set of credit card transactions, that we could build models to predict what are merchants in the real world, whether it's food or anything else, that any given consumer would probably like but hadn't yet been to. Um, and then instead of offering these really big discounts, could we go to merchants around, and we started in Phoenix, we go to merchants around Phoenix and get them to offer small discounts, maybe 5%, 10%, but just small inducements that would get someone to try something they'd ever tried before. Um, and then could we kind of you know, split up the, the benefit with the merchant of, of driving new customers to them? And that was kind of the initial idea. And I. There's actually since been a company called Cartalytics that did it successfully. Uh, they partnered up with a bunch of the different uh, credit card companies to, to get access to the data directly, and then they, they market through statements, and, and they've done a good job of that. And they launched, I don't know if it was a little before or a little after, but about the same time that we launched. But, but they were successful and we weren't. And I think, um, you know, through that experience, it, we learned a lot. And one thing that we learned that I think is really interesting, and it's a it's a mistake that I think a lot of people make when they assess businesses in retrospect is you assume that the idea is where all the value is. And I think that this is a case where, you know, we had an idea that we thought was pretty good. Um, and you know, the idea ultimately worked. It just worked for someone else. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I think what you learn there is you know, we just weren't good enough to get it done. I think there's a million reasons why that was the case. Um, and I do think luck plays a role in all these things. So, you know, things didn't break our way, but I think we learned a lot about what's hard about trying to build something about, um, being smart about how much you bite off when you're first starting, um, picking the directions that you run and, and ideally picking directions where you have some pre-existing knowledge so you're not trying to learn everything all at once. Um, so I think that that failure, which was incredibly painful at the time, you know, we went through all the iterations of you know, investing our personal money and then you know, not working and you know, believing that we are just about to fix it and then putting more money in and just getting in deeper than we thought and then having to have all the tough conversations with people that had worked really hard with us to try to build it and just basically just you know, having to come clean with this thing that we thought we could do, we couldn't do and we're out of money and this doesn't work. And going through that experience, I think, taught us a lot and, and taught me a lot. And I think without that experience, I think it would have been a lot harder to, to find the success that we've had with Carvana. So I think at the time it was brutally painful, but I think with the benefit of hindsight, it was, uh, it was lucky that, that we went through that as well.